Okay. Yep. Let's talk about how, uh, um, Honda uses a lot in their Honda portables. They do with the inverters, how they do the voltage regulation with, um, the whole varying throttle, eco throttle, BS and all that shit. It's, um, kind of interesting. So, you got the main alternator. That's the speed of it is um, constantly changing. And what it does is, you know, they still use, um, they still uh, create a magnetic field on it to create the, create current, so they create voltage. But what they do is they take it and they put it into an inverter. And, uh, it's not big, it's like that big, and it's um, it's just a big, you know, heavy aluminum potted hunk of electronics. And potted being that it's filled with epoxy, and you can't touch any of those damn components, which is kind of annoying. When you, especially when you're a nerd, you're like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to dig out that bad resistor out of there and make it go over them again. This inverter controls. Um, the carburetor it controls the throttle on the carburetor and it controls the amount of current going to the main alternator so normally you got the th you got the outlets going to it off this inverter so it goes from AC to DC inside here on a DC bus and then from DC it goes to AC again and uh, and it pumps it out through the outlet. But here's a kicker. So you're uh, one of those people that have the crazy people that have the you know the ten generator like you know ten two thousand watt generators and using the little interconnect thingies with them. So and a lot of people don't know what they're actually doing. What they're actually doing is. Um, this inverter is sitting here, you know, just you know, humming along by itself. So let's say we have two. It's actually pretty simple. And you get that little magical box. Sorry for kicking you, sir. And you connect them both up. And you got the plug into your RV. You fire this guy up, or right, let's say you fire this guy up, it starts producing voltage. This guy is, goes, yeah. and uh, this guy goes, it like goes, hey, you're a, you're a, a hundred two thousand watt. I'm a two thousand watt. Fuck, let's work together, and um, these two each other will, both of them will sit there and monitor each other's sine waves and keep them, keep each other sitting there in sync with each other and, uh, producing, uh, to, uh producing a steady current out the, uh, output. Um, and they'll, you know, they'll sit there and, you know, change RPMs to make sure that they're, you know, one's not, it's called motoring the other one, which is they're pushing voltage back into the other one, which is a bad thing. Um, and this is how it works with all of them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty smart, uh, thing. It even works with those, uh, the yellow ones. Uh, it starts with a K, I can't remember. Uh, but, uh, these inverters, when they take a shit, just to mind you, they're 400 bucks. Right off the top. And that was my buddy's, uh, my uh, good old friend of a friend cost. They could be about 550 bucks just for that inverter. Um, so, just to let you know about the, the downside of the Honda is like, components are expensive. Uh, yeah, because that little inverter controls, like I said, the carburetor controls, controls the how much current is pushing into the alternator. Um, and, um, 
yeah, as uh, the, the way these work also is, as uh, you apply load, you know, apply load to it, it's that they're going to open up the throttle a little bit more, and then it's going to put more. Um, it's going to push more current onto more voltage into the um, the exciter on the main alternator. And uh, since it's running and going through an inverter, it doesn't have to run. This thing doesn't have to run at you know 3600 RPM or a constant 36 or 1800 RPM. It can sit there, and as the load goes up, it can sit there and you know uh, push up the RPMs as it goes. So when you're at full load, I think it pushes like 3800 RPM. So yeah, that's uh pretty much that's how the all pretty much all inverters work being interconnected. So all right, you guys have a good one.